Okay, hello world. Hello everybody. We had a bit of a faux pas. I tried this once before. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll upload that as a blooper or something. Because I tried to shrink the camera screen and read something that I'm making the video about. And it didn't work. Let's move on. Anyway, the post on my Facebook channel there, blah, 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 page, is they're talking about antisocial behavior, you know, youth and kids, and they have phones that you don't talk, you text, video games, you don't play with people just on things, and you can do things anonymously, and then we're all shrinking up into antisocial, you know, thumbs, right? Uh, this kind of, and I agree with it, you know, that's for sure. It, uh, it had a whole litany, a list of Antisocial behavior that's supposed to be a social media in a social setting and now it's done nothing but Create an antisocial atmosphere uh, environment Anyway Here's my two cents about it. It all started with cars cars you know, <laughs> Cars drive around Okay cars, you know when you came out of the trains or in the wagons where, you know, this and that, and slower paced, you can say, oh, hey, how you doing? We pass somebody on their horse and their wagon. And, you know, it was a more social time because then you see someone, hey, hey, you know, what's up? What's going on out there? You ain't seen someone in two days, <laughs> right? So anywho, let's move on. Um, cars, cars did it. Because where else is there this Specialized environment, you know, AC, heater, radio, all kinds of doodads, nabs, knobs, and dogs, wobs, right? All that stuff. Plus, this and that when you're driving in them. Here's why it's so antisocial. You, God forbid, you even touch cars. Think, you, oh, lawsuit, all kinds, oh my, you know, everything just balloons out of a car accident, fender bender. Even a little tinky winky, you know. I mean, any stay away, you know. Stay away. Don't touch. Don't talk. Nothing. No. Don't touch the car. Don't dink it. Don't walk by it. Don't put your hand on it. Don't look at it. You know, you can't touch cars. You can't touch in a car. And then you're all bunched up on freeways. Hundreds of thousands of people there. Don't touch. Don't talk. You know, oh, hi, hey, <laughs> oh, you know. Nothing can you do to associate with anyone else, really, except for avoiding them. Period. That is the premise of driving a car. Don't touch, don't talk, don't associate, or you will crash. Right? So, can you imagine... The antisocial mindset that driving on a freeway for an hour, say, L.A., I've done it. I've drove cab in L.A., Santa Monica, Long Beach, 405, yo, right? So, you know, I'm hep to the scene. I've drove in Vegas for years. I drove a bike in Vegas. And you talk about, yo, right? Don't touch. Don't this. Don't, no, no, no. Don't look over. <laughs> oh, Right? Don't know. You know, be oh, la, 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 <coughs> oh. Cars. Cars did it to us. When we came out of trains and got into cars, yeah, our family's in it. Yeah, our media, but we see them all the time. Yeah. So, <coughs> hey, there goes the truck. Anyway, my thing is, it was the car that made us into the. Yeah, the. the opening down there <laughs> I don't want to say what you know because we are every one of us cut someone off even do something la la right <laughs> cuss them out right and then you know it gets me no matter what say right if you're trying to yell la la I need to get over right because I got to get off the freeway <laughs> you know they're like, oh you can't get ahead of me oh, you can't. this is everybody everybody on the road no matter how fast or slow everyone's going, they always got to be in front of whoever's in front of them. All the time. Every time. I don't do it because I said, nah, I'm going, you know, a lot of people, but most times, oh, you ain't getting in front of me. Oh, you're going to do that. I'm going to get ahead. Now, this creates an animosity, yet 
with this antisocial box we call cars that we are sequestered in for how long? It's not that god awfully long, but otherwise, if you're not in the car, you're with your family, you associate with them, not with people. Like in a train, you can sit, oh, hey, how are you doing? Play checkers and stuff, right? Or you sit over there, read the paper, blah, 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 right? Cars? No, no, no. You have to be strictly, strictly, A game strict, antisocial, or you will crash. Well, you know, I'm cool with, yeah, you know, I get it. But the car, it is the car that has made us what we are today. A bunch of antisocial, yeah, orifices, period. I mean, it'd be a wonderful guy. You get out your car and you get out in the building. Oh, hi, how you doing? Right, well, get in a car. You know, your, your social, whatever, it turns into this raging thing. Until he gets out of the car. How many times did somebody just, blah, blah, and did whatever, you know, whatever, bruh. Right? Lose your mind. Because he went a little ahead of you. Well, that creates an animosity. Now, you get out of your car. You know what? You might get out of your car, and that same person going to the Walmart you're going to. Oh, boy. Now, you just cussed him out. But you know what? You get this, oh, hi, Mr. Johnson. How you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> the car. The car, the car, the car. I hate cars. I hate them. I hate them. I've worked on them all my life. Terrible. The car is the detriment to society itself. The car. That's what started it and it led into these things and games and antisocial this and no, they'll do that, blah, blah, blah. And that's the way of it. All right. And that's my message. I, it, I didn't want it to go this long, but I get ranty, and it's Sunday, and who cares? Nobody's going to watch this anyway. <sighs> Excuse me. All right. Live by your wits and not by your worries. And of all the things i got to say, race fast or die in pain. La, la, la. Okay, see ya.